Hello, everyone. My name is Mark Jimenez. I'm a technical marketing engineer here at Solona, and I'm excited to show how you can deploy the Solona Network Operating System Edge in a variety of compute environments. So let's get started. What we're looking at here is the Solona Orchestrator. The Solona Orchestrator is a SaaS-based service to manage everything in the Solona domain. So in this interface, I'm going to go to the Edge Clusters page. And on this page, I've already created four Solona Edge clusters uh, from most local to in the cloud. Uh, but before I go into each one of these and how they were deployed as a common flow for any of the uh, Solona Edge environments, to, to start with, the administrator will create an Edge cluster uh, by clicking on the upper right here right, and create your cluster, like so, but I won't do here because I already created them. Uh, once you've created the cluster, uh, you'll obtain a serial number from Solona. And at the same time, you will deploy your Solona Edge node in your compute environment, drop that serial number into the Solona Edge node, which it will then, Solona Edge node will then register with the Solona orchestrator uh, to be allocated to one of the Solona Edge clusters. So, so to recap there, a Solona Edge cluster is an entity that manages one or more Solona Edge nodes. So let's go into the, the first type which I think will be most familiar to us in the networking world. You know, we're used to discrete boxes as, as, network, fun, as, as network functions. And so the first one is in a, in a kit we call Solona Air. You can see behind me here, a, a rolling kit. This kit contains an access point, an indoor Solona access point, a router, and a small form factor PC that is running Linux. And in this Linux, uh, we are running the Solona Edge node. And so this is the most local, probably the most familiar way to, to deploy the Solona Edge node. Now, some of you may have operationalized your Linux form factors into virtual machines. And so for the second cluster, Edge cluster, uh, this one is deployed in our enterprise lab here in ESX. Uh, VMware ESX, so pulling up that interface. Right, so here is the VMware ESXi interface. And from here, it's, it's very VMware. I mean, it's, very, it's very VMware flow, right? You would obtain the uh, OVA image for uh, the, the Solana Edge node, right? And in ESXi, you can just go to virtual machines here, just right click and register a new machine. We would select the second choice here so that we can use the OVA. And then you can name your cluster or my, my Edge node, for example and then drop in the OVA into this part of the interface. And you just proceed with the normal flow for VMware as creating any other virtual machine. Right? And so that's the edge node running in ESX. So back to the Solona orchestrator screen and we'll go back to one level up at the cluster level. So you may have another form, another need for uh, Solona edge, but with compute that Either you want to look like EC2, or maybe you have a lot of data that you need to bring from the local site to AWS or from AWS back to your local site when you're, when you're connecting your networks. And so for this uh, third cluster, I've deployed in AWS Snowball. Well, AWS Snowball, again, is a server that you can order from AWS. Uh, when you order it, you know, through the AWS interface, you can ask for it to have data already positioned on it, or you can tell AWS that when I'm done with this server, uh, I'm going to send back, I, I want a bunch of data to go back into S3. Alternatively, you can order it without any of the data concerns. Uh, but part of what you will do is order this Snowball device with the 
Solana Edge Node software already deployed. And so once the Snowball device uh, comes, to your, comes to your premise, uh, you would unlock it and you would manage it in, a, in software from AWS called the AWS Ops Hub. Right? So in Ops Hub, you would unlock, you would unlock your uh, AWS Snowball. And this interface should look familiar to folks who are already familiar with, with EC2. Right? Um, you would bring up that edge node instance, allocate a virtual network interface so that you get a public IP. Right? And so you'll have an IP address for managing the snowball itself, as well as one for the edge node. And so this is the edge node running in snowball. Let's go back to the Solona interface. Go back to the cluster level. And finally, you can run the Solona Edge node in cloud. To do that, you would get, the, get an uh, EC2 Amazon, Amazon machine image or AMI from Solona. And this is an example of one. And then you would use that to install an EC2 machine just with the standard EC2 process. Bring it up as a normal machine, an right, EC2, and that becomes your edge node in EC2. So what I've just showed are a variety of ways you can deploy the Solana network node, the Solana network operating system edge node in a variety of compute environments.